everybody. Welcome to today's Q&A Cafe, AR Collections and Document Delivery for Resolve and SAP Business One with your host, Shannon Kennedy. My name is Catherine and I will be facilitating today. Um, this, like every other session, we're going to be recording this session and keeping everyone except for yours truly and our host on mute so that we will have uh, questions towards the end of the presentation. Uh, so if you do have any, please feel free to type them into the questions or chat boxes and we'll get to them as soon as we can. Um, don't forget to join us next week. That's Wednesday, October the 27th already uh, for our Q&A Cafe in importing AR invoices through XML files in SAP Business by Design. So, without further ado, I will hand it over to Shannon. Thanks, Catherine. Good afternoon, everyone. So today, we're going to be going over some modules that are able to be used directly in SAP Business One, utilizing the add-on Resolve. When you're utilizing SAP Business One, some of the biggest questions we get for our accounting team members is, how can I better manage our AR collections or our statement send outs, our invoice send outs, and really just keep all that information very readily available and keep on top of it so we make sure that you have a very even flow of revenue. And of course, you never want to let your customer get too far behind in your AR collections, so that way it causes an issue for them or for someone on your team as well. So what Resolve has done is created two modules that work together in SAP Business One called AR Collections and Document Delivery. And this allows you to actually auto-create AR collection tracking documents based upon your account balance and your business partner record. So it's utilizing, again, all of your information in standard SAP, just like all of our other Resolve modules, it's using your SAP table and all of your master data. Anytime your business partner has an account balance inside of SAP Business One, we'll just open up one of our customers just so that we can see the account balance and where that information is coming from. I'm simply using my business partner master data screen. And I'm just going to filter on my customers so I can be sure to open up a customer before I open up a vendor. So opening up my first customer here, I see in my selection screen that it has a business partner balance here. So when you're utilizing AR collections added in with SAP Business One, it's going to automatically create a tracking document based upon what this balance is comprised of. What that means is if we're looking at some of the information in our tabs here in regard to this client and their payment terms and how they pay, we're going to also now see the AR collections, which is taking all of that information into account as well. And it's going to allow you to see that information on one tab here, as well as allowing you to create that actual collections tracking document where you can have the information about the documents that are comprised that balance, the contact information, and who on your team is responsible for this open AR follow-up. So as you can see in our AR collections, it's going to show us detailed aging information here, which normally would only be able to be accessed and utilized using your aging reports in standard SAP Business One. But this is allowing you to summarize it here. Anywhere you see a golden arrow, just like in standard SAP, that's going to allow you to drill down to specific information. If I drill down to my aging details one to 30 days in age, going to show me additional details based upon the total that's within that one and 30 day due range. So this is letting me know that this document, this sales order is within my one to 30 day due date. And this is my total. You can also see that information for over 90, 61 to 90 and 31 to 60. If we take a look instead at our 90 day. It's going to show us multiple documents and extended information because it's telling us that all five of these orders are over the 90 day mark. So this information gives you a quick summary for anyone in your team that has access to your business partner records, including your CFOs all the way down to your customer service representative, so that they can take a look at what's going on with this customer. Now, because I have Resolve also installed, you'll notice that I have my create tracking document, related collections, and collection reports on the bottom of my screen. 
That's because as soon as a business partner has an account balance, it's going to automatically create my collections tracking document. However, you also have the option to not auto create those. You can simply create manually by clicking on your create tracking document here, and it will create one for you. Since we have the system set to automate that process, I'm simply going to click on my related collections. And this is going to open my screen for my newest document that's tracking all of my ARR collections information. I'm going to use my gold arrow to drill down into my collections tracking document. And this document is going to hold our customer basic information, as well as information on who is assigned within your SAP business to follow up on this customer's open, audit, open AR balance. You also have an option here to set it as a low, medium, or high priority. In this case, knowing that this balance is quite high for this customer, we would more than likely reset this to high. You'll also see a balance due total at the top left of your screen. And then we see all of our attached AR invoices. This is showing all of your AR invoices, regardless of how overdue they are. So this is will actually show any open document and when they're due, the quantity and the dollar value. You'll also note that it shows when this document was auto-created for each line. This is how you keep track of every time that this collection document has been opened. And now we can tell by these dates here that this collection tracking began all the way back in 2019. Another reason why you might wanna set it to your high priority, because this means that you've been following up and maybe you have not been getting in touch with your customer regarding their open AR. You also have the option down at the bottom of your screen to see your current balance on your BP, to add or delete specific documents here. If you know that one of these documents is 100% being paid today, you can simply highlight the line and delete it here, and then it will no longer show when your collection's tracking for your team to track. You can also show open documents only, which is your default, but if you untick this mark, it will actually show you the open and closed total for that customer over time. Our second tab here shows our call log. Once you've assigned to Jason Butler this AR follow-up, he can simply go into your AR collections from the business partner like we did, or he can actually go into it from our separate AR collections menu option and update regarding what he's done to follow up with your customer. You see our first line here, we contacted Bob, we sent him a statement, and he gave us a promised date of a payment of 3720. Our promised amount was not clarified, so that's left at zero. And then we added in specific comments regarding that call that we had with Bob. So now we obviously know that our AR collections document is open, so we know that the balance was not paid or that a partial wasn't paid. So what we're going to do here is we're going to simply add in another row. This will allow us to keep track of all of our follow-ups without updating the previous one because we want our manager to be able to see each and every follow-up we've done to let them know that we're doing our best to stay on top of our AR collections. Now that I've added a new row here, you'll select the contact which is directly related to your business partner contact information. We'll be able to use our search button here to select what action we're doing. So whether it's a call, an email, or the sent statement like we did on our first option. So for this follow-up, I'm gonna select that I called the customer. You're able to enter in a result of that phone call. And I'm going to enter in promise to make a payment because I talked to Bob. He promised to make another payment. I'll simply select the date that he promised the payment to. And we'll put that for this coming Friday. And we'll put in that he promised to pay $10,000. And then I would simply add in those notes as well, just in case my manager or anyone else on the team also wants this information or has to do an additional follow up. Should I be out of the office?
Now I'll update and save that note. And you can also feel free to save a copy of any of your emails or any written approvals that a customer may give you during a promise to pay. So what that means is if Bob promised to pay and he, I sent him a follow-up email because I wanted to make sure that I had a copy of that information in writing, I could actually save that attachment right here and that would be able to be opened by anyone who has access to SAP Business One. You'd also be able to print out that correspondence as well, even though that email wasn't necessarily between yourself and Bob, but between Jason and Bob. Now, if we go back to our main tab of our linked document, you'll also note that we have an excluded column here. What that means is if you want information to stay in this screen, so you don't want to delete a line, but you want the system and everyone to know that you're excluding it because maybe Bob promised to pay our first three invoices. We can simply exclude that from the total in our AR collections, and then anyone who goes into the system We'll be able to see that those three invoices are excluded and be able to go to our call log to see why. You can also access payment details directly from this screen as well. And this will give you a list of the history of payment details based upon your customers. You can also enter in a reminder for yourself or for someone else if you're going to then assign this AR collections tracking to another team member here. If I put a reminder in here for 60 minutes and I save my AR collections, you will get a system prompt right through SAP in your system messages window that alerts you to follow up with Bob regarding this open AR collection. So all of this can be done directly from your AR collection screen here, which also alleviates if you have a customer service rep that is not normally utilizing your business partner records, they can simply utilize this in its entirety. They never actually have to go into SAP, into the customer or the contact information or the balance information. They'll simply be able to have an overview here on exactly what they need to follow up and exactly what they need to speak to their customers about. Now that we've reviewed a little bit of our AR collections and how those documents are created, you also have access to collections report when utilizing this module. If you're accessing this, module, this report directly from your business partner, it's going to automatically fill in the business partner that you're in and you would be able to run your collection callback report, which is going to give you information regarding your callbacks and contact with the customer, your SAP broken promises report, which will allow you to see specific information for promises to pay that were not followed through. You'd be able to see your cash receipt forecast report, which would be able to forecast if you were receiving payments, and any documents on hold report. If a customer has a specific account balance that tells your team that you need to put them on hold from placing any more orders, this document's on hold report would allow you to see all of the incoming orders that are on hold pending a payment. So utilizing our AR collections is of course internally a very valuable tool for, tool for your team. But what we can also do in combination with our AR collections is utilize something called document delivery. Document delivery is going to allow you to automatically send in bulk your AR invoices, copies of your sales orders, sales quotes, as well as your statements to customers directly using the information in your business partner records. So I want to take a quick look at document delivery directly from our resolve menu here. I'm going to open up our document delivery and I'm going to check out our customer deliveries. Now, using this in combination with your AR collections will allow you to send updates after you've spoken with Bob at Amazon and you've let him know that this is what you have open and maybe he's made a payment. So now you want to send him an updated AR invoice or an updated statement, depending on what he has open still in his business partner. 
we would simply come into our customer delivery here. We'd configure our document delivery customer configuration for our customer Amazon. And if I use my search button here, I'm just gonna bring up our customer default information for Amazon. So for Amazon, even though you spoke to Bob, the default for our AR collections and our document delivery sending out specific documents to this customer goes to a generalized mailbox. We wanna make sure that Bob gets a copy as well because he's been who we're working with. All I would have to do here is simply add Bob here. I'd like to send him an email and I'd simply type in his email here. You also have the ability to set up faxes if you'd like to fax information to your customer. And you also have the option to set print. Setting print will allow you to print the information and a copy of the statement, for example, directly to your printer so that you could keep that statement on hand when you're following up with someone like your CFO. I'm gonna simply update that information here. And now I've updated all default documents that I'll be sending out to Amazon. We'll go to Bob and also our generalized information here. However, you also have the ability to send out specific documents to only one or more specific users. You don't necessarily have to send them all to both of these addresses here. On the customer side, we can set up different email addresses and customer contacts to send out our quotes, our orders, deliveries, returns, AR invoices, credit memos, and our AR statements. But if you do wanna send them to the same specific people at your team, simply setting them up on the general tab will allow all of those documents to go to these specific users. You can also add an internal contact to any of your documents you see here. If every new order wants to be entered into the system and you'd like the salesman that's in charge of that customer to get a copy of that order, we could simply update here and put in that contact as well. So if I was a customer service rep entering in orders and I wanted to be emailed a copy of every order that I had approved that went out to the customer as well, I'd simply enter in my information and my email address. I'm gonna click update and now I'll get a copy of every one of those sales orders that's added to the system as well as the customer will get a copy. Now that we've updated our generalized configurations, I want to quickly take a look at our business partner and how we access that information directly also from our business partner. I'm going to look up one of my customers. We'll stay with our same customer that we've been doing our AR tracking. And on your contact person detail page, it shows me everyone who's associated to this contact with Bob being the default. That's your standard SAP default. Now we know that we've added Bob, myself, and a generalized admin to get copies of all the documents in SAP Business One. So now from your business partner record specifically, you can make updates to that configuration record, or if it's a new business partner, you can add a document delivery configuration directly from here as well. So here you see it opens up a previously made document delivery. If one was never made for your customer because they're a new business partner, this would be blank and allow you to automatically make a record putting in the business partner default first. It's entirely up to you how you organize your document delivery, who your documents will be going to, and entering in that data here. However, if you have an enormous amount of customers you can absolutely import this information as well during the implementation of Resolve. What that means is it will automatically create these document delivery configurations for every one of your business partners, customers and vendors, automatically within the system so that you don't have to manually go into the document delivery configuration and create them. Then you can feel free to make them on a one-by-one -one basis with new customers and vendors, 
or you can simply rerun the import whenever you have more records to enter into SAP Business One. Now that we've taken a look at how that's actually set up, I want to open up how the document is actually going to be sent. So we took a look at our customer configuration here. Now let's take a look at actually what the system does and how you get to select what documents and what business partners are receiving them. We're gonna take a look first at our AR statements here. You do have the option on the top of your screen to filter out if you want to send specific documents. So if we wanted to send only Amazon because that's who we're following up with today, and we know that their statement overall has changed, we would simply enter our starting customer and our ending customer as both Amazon. And we would leave our aging date as today. Now when I click search, it's going to bring up AR statements and who they would be going to for only Amazon. You also have the ability to default through and create more information or less information depending upon the overdue date. As you see here, we're seeing overdue by 15 days. If we unselect our overdue and take out my overdue date, we will normally see an increased value in the AR statement that's going out because now we're including everything that's overdue. We're not limiting what's going to be seen by the customer. You can also limit who you send the information to and how using your fax only, email only, and print only options. Selecting print only, for example, will allow you to simply print these internally for you and your team to have information. Selecting email only, we'll be sure that it's only utilizing the email setup when sending that document. We know that Amazon was set up for emailing and fax from our configuration screen. So by selecting email only here, we're overriding that default and we will not be faxing. However, if I tick off my email and leave all three options blank, it will simply be utilizing the configuration records and when it tells the system what to do. Now, by simply selecting my records, holding control and selecting the same way you'd select multiple records in standard SAP, it allows me to select both of these options, so both of these contacts, and I would be able to deliver them here directly to Amazon with a copy of their statement. You can do that with all of your AR marketing documents. However, the most benefit that you're going to get out of using document delivery, whether it's for an AR statement or simply an invoice copy, is actually not defaulting your customers at all. If I don't default my customer, it's going to bring up every customer that has an open account balance, and it will allow me to email all of these at once by simply selecting my select all option here, now it's selected all of my customers with an open balance and it will automatically deliver an email with an attached account statement to every one of these defaults set up in the system already. What that means is if you have a contact with a, B, a business partner with five contacts, all five of them by simply using document delivery here will get a copy of that AR statement. If you have anyone selected internally to also get a copy, like I was selected to get a copy of my sales order, I would also get a copy because each of those are showing here as a separate line to go out. You can, of course, always feel free to unselect all and simply select a grouping of documents to be mailed. And that will allow you to email only the documents here that are selected by simply selecting Deliver Selected. If there happens to be an issue with any of the information that you see in this screen, perhaps an email is incorrect, perhaps an email is missing, you'll also be able to see that information inside your document delivery history. That's a great help if you know that you sent out all of those document delivery AR statements but when you do your follow-up call, the customer lets you know that they never received a copy of their AR statement. 
Of course, you can always manually save them via standard SAP Business One and mail them out to them or email them as an attachment. But you also have the option to go into your document delivery history based upon a start date and look up your completed, errored, and unprocessed records. This will allow you to see what the issue was and if the customer really didn't receive a copy of that statement. So as we see here, I have my unprocessed checked. That means that these documents here have not been sent yet. Does not necessarily mean that there's an error because my process error information is blank. And I also haven't selected to look for specific errors. But it's also telling me that something might be going on in the background with our email integration to SAP Business One because this information hasn't gone out. You can feel free to select as many or all of these records and simply resubmit to kick the system into action and hopefully get those sent out. Or if there was a change that needed to be made in the background in terms of your emailing integration, you'd simply be able to hit resubmit here. You can also stop the reprocessing by clicking suspend. That will suspend this process, allow you to look further into why these maybe didn't go out, and then simply come back in and resubmit them after. I also want to take a look at my errors. If I tick on my error option there, I click display to show my errors. It's going to display all of the documents that are currently having an issue. And if we scroll all the way over, it will allow us to see process errors if there's a specific error related to these documents and why they didn't go out. For example, if you're having an issue with your PDF integration with SAP Business One, it will have an error related to the attachment on the email going out. And that will alert you to say, you know what, that customer really didn't receive that AR statement. I'm gonna to have to work with my team to make sure I fix that. Or instead we can set, select our completed, and that's going to show you all of the documents that were sent out and processed completely with no, issue, no issues with your email or your system, which means they went to your customer. I'm gonna go back just a little bit further so we can see some data in this screen. Just so that you'll be able to see, it's just simply a list saying that this material went out and it will have a completed time, process completed, process started time, and started time in general listed here, which is basically date and time stamping when the document went out. This allows you to have an audit tracking of when these AR statements are going out. This is something that can also be used by your management team. If they want to follow up on all of the AR statements that were emailed out this week to ensure that AR collections is being properly called upon, they could simply go into your document delivery history here and take a look at everything that was sent out for the week or the month or even the year. So if we open up and take a look at our vendor information, we're able to configure our vendor records from our business partner vendor records in our document delivery as well. And this allows us to send out our purchase orders, AP invoices, and AP credit memos, all directly related to those business partner records that we've selected. You also have an option to specifically send out each of the documents, just like when we looked up send out our AR statement. You're able to do the same thing with your AP invoices here. In your document delivery history, it would also enable you to see history regarding vendors and customers as well. So now you may be asking yourself, how does that information look when a customer receives it? And that is actually configured along with your SAP Business One project manager inside of your Resolve setup. So if we look inside of our document delivery here, we have two options to configure our subject and body field and the subject and body entry of our documents, which would enable us to change how the email looks when it's going out to a client. 
So if I open up my subject and body fields here, this allows you to select the field name in SAP Business One, as well as the table name here. This is dragging information directly from your business partner, as well as all of your marketing documents in standard SAP, and including that information in those emails that are going out. So this contains information regarding our document header fields here. You can update the document line fields, your card code fields, which is your business partner records, whether it be vendor or customer, specifically your contact fields directly from your business partner records as well, and the employee fields. The employee fields would only be added if you wanted to also add in information regarding the SAP employee that's related to those emails going out or the customer vendor specifically. Once you've decided what information you want to have in that email when you're sending those attachments, that's when you work with your team to open and decide what your subject and body of your email will actually look like. So if we open up our subject and body entry form here, and I open up my AR statements tab, here is what my email will actually look like. So I'm utilizing that information from my fields, that's my business partner information, my document information, my contact information, and this is actually what the email will say. So that email will be going out to those contacts, so Bob at Amazon. The subject will be your monthly statement, and our body will simply say thank you for your business and the current balance total for that business partner specifically. That information comes from this field here. That enables you and the system to automatically enter in the current balance for each business partner specifically. Nothing will ever get intermingled between other business partners. You'll never be sending someone else information on Amazon because all of that is configured in here and will simply go into every email depending upon that business partner code. The attachment will be automatically attached to that email when it goes out as well. And should you ever need to change this information, if you very specifically have one business partner that likes to have an email designed exactly how they want it designed, exactly how they need it to say, maybe they don't just want your current balance. Maybe they want more information regarding your current balance that's more than 60 days old. You can simply click overridable here, and this will allow you to change this information. However, changing this information will be a company-wide change. So you will have to make sure that as you change and update this information, you go directly into your document delivery and send those documents to that very specified customer so that they get the information they need. Then you would simply change it back to your default, and that way it will allow you to send those emails in bulk without having to make any sort of manual update. So you can set this up specifically to say different information, different subjects, depending upon what information you're sending. Your sales code, quote, will have your customer name and your document titles. And you see that it has a lot of different information in terms of the body. You can do the same with your sales orders, deliveries, returns, invoices, and credit memos. You can also specify on the purchasing side how that information is going to look when it goes to your vendors as well. And that's all based upon how your vendor wants that information and what you think is the best default so that that emailing process no longer has to be manual. You can do it all in bulk, all at one time, directly using Resolve right from your SAP Business One screen. You also have the ability, if you're making updates inside of any of your screens here, to test that the information will look correct. The system message here will pop up a specific message based upon the information that you have in your setup, letting you know this is the information that's showing. 
So for our PO specifically, our body shows our PO total. And our subject showed our document number for the PO in question. So now we know the correct information showed on our system. You can, of course, do that for your sales as well. We open up our AR statements. I'm going to click test. And it's going to tell us this is how your subject will appear. This is how your body will appear. This sample here is just a sample inside the system. This balance will change per business partner, just like I mentioned. But you'll also receive an error if for some reason, perhaps this table name was incorrect or it was um, simply not registering correctly based upon your SQL table name in the background. Now that we've discussed our AR collections and our document delivery, I would like to note that in certain systems and versions of SAP Business One, we also have an automated option called Data Messenger that works side by side with document delivery. What that option will also allow you to do is automate that emailing process for you. So instead of opening up your Data Messenger, your document delivery screen, you will be able to simply highlight all of the information and send those out. Utilizing Data Messenger will actually send those automatically for you based upon your document delivery configuration. It uses a processor in the background, so you can schedule it to run however often you'd like, and it will send out those emails automatically. If you'd like more information regarding Data Messenger and the versions of SAP Business One that it is able to be integrated with, please feel free to reach out to myself or Catherine. And if you'd like any additional information regarding document delivery or AR collections, please feel free to reach out to VistaView Solutions. Fabulous, thank you so much, Shannon. Um, another fantastic Q&A cafe from Shannon. Thank you again so much. Um, let's take a look here. I don't think I see any questions. So um, if you do have questions, as Shannon said, please feel free to reach out to our team. Uh, you can reach out to me or you can reach out to us uh, via email or on social media as well. Um, we will be sending out this session within a couple of days. Uh, these sessions are also available on our resources hub and on YouTube. And if you are watching this on YouTube for more great information and upcoming cafes, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button.